Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Ilya and I'm currently working on a 2D Metroidvania game called Onchu. In this devlog I will show you what I was working on for the last week. It was a busy week with a lot of different tasks tackled, so let's jump right in. I started the week with editing and finishing my last video. If you haven't seen the video, you know that the last thing I was working on didn't quite work out how I wanted it to be. So I plan to work on something completely different this week, to keep up my motivation. But before I started with this new big challenge, I had a fun little diversion that came first this evening. I was watering the plants in our garden when I saw that our kohlrabi were starting to get already bigger and bigger. I kind of loved the look of them, or rather the look during their growing period, and I decided to create an enemy in my game, inspired by it. So I sat down and started to think about how this enemy could look like. I had two ideas in mind. The first would be a kohlrabi that has mutated as a plant and is able to jump around, similar to this, but as a vegetable. My second idea was to put it on a back on an animal, similar to Ivysaur. I decided to go with the ladder, because it seemed more interesting to me. For the animal carrying the kohlrabi, I decided to go with a farm animal, so it makes sense that they found each other and mutated somehow. My final choice was a sheep, and I started to sketch out a rough draft on how it should look like. After that I drew a simple sheep and I added a kohlrabi on its back. I then finished things off with a crystal stuck into it, that will glow when the player will hit it. And maybe it could even explode on death, but this will be something to be figured out later inside Unity. It was getting late and it was time to cook dinner. Of course fitting the theme, I had to prepare a small appetizer consisting of kohlrabi and other vegetables. I also love to prepare a small snack box for the next day, because I know I will be too lazy to do it while working and it will make me eat something healthy instead of other things. And I'm not the only one being happy that I eat healthy. The next morning I decided to stop procrastinating and start my next big challenge, being a dialogue system for the game. I started by researching a bit and looking through some tutorials to find the best way to do this. And I have to say, there are so many different options that I'm still not sure if I picked the right choice. I decided to go with an ink implementation following the tutorials from Trevor Mop because I already made good experience by using his tutorials for the save and load system. While his tutorials are usually a bit more advanced, I still like to challenge myself and try to improve my programming skills while doing so. Another thing that was a small concern for me was localization through ink. I read that it doesn't have an easy way to export the text for translation. But because I feel like I will do all the translation by myself anyways and my game won't be very text heavy, I should be fine. With that being said, I jumped into it in the afternoon and worked myself through all his tutorials step by step. At the end of the day I was stuck with some errors that I couldn't figure out how to fix, but I still chose to wrap things up and tackle it the following day with a fresh mind. The next morning I decided under the shower that I will have a look at my inputs regarding the dialogue system, because this was the only thing that I changed slightly from the tutorials, because I had it already in place before. And surprise, changing something there fixed all the other errors as well. I felt a bit tricked because the errors that were something completely different, but I was still happy to have it working now. Because I didn't have any NPC yet, I decided to take my freshly created sheep as a placeholder and create additionally some placeholder things needed to test all functions of the new dialogue system. Like you can see everything was working fine, the text is written letter by letter and you can also skip if it is too slow. I can also display emotes during the conversation and the portrait and layout will change depending on who is talking and what is happening. Through the tutorials I also have a sound system implemented that could theoretically play sounds during the conversation like in Celeste or Animal Crossing. But I think it is something that I don't really want to have in my game this way. I rather make the NPC say hi in the beginning or something like that. Hello there. Because I'm not sure yet what to do with the sound, I just left it for now. 
This day I decided to stop working a bit early because the weather was so nice and my girlfriend asked me if I want to go on an afternoon walk with her. Without her I would probably rot in my office. I started the day looking at the dialogue system and I decided to make it a bit nicer visually. Starting with the dialogue panel. For this I looked up different borders online to gather some inspiration. I knew that I want to keep it minimalistic and simple. I also knew that I wanted something that has to do with nature, like wood or plants. After collecting some inspiration I decided to start with a sketch. I tried to match it the style of my previous UI and decided to create corn pieces, a top and a bottom part, and a continue indicator. I especially didn't want to connect the parts because like this I stay flexible regarding different sizes of the dialogue panels. I also didn't like the portraits during the dialogue and I completely removed them. What is your opinion regarding the portraits? Do you think they are a nice addition or do you prefer a more clean look like I'm going for? Let me know in the comments. I then turned the decoration to white so I'm able to change its color inside the game. I'm not sure what color I will use for it for now but maybe I will also change it depending on the NPC or the region of the game. The last thing for the day was finishing the script for this video, you are watching right now. And with that I was ready for the weekend. Sometimes I work on the weekend as well, it usually depends on how productive I was during the week. But this time I was happy with the results and the weather was still fantastic, so I didn't do much. I just worked a bit on my YouTube shorts slash TikToks because I was planning on releasing one short per normal video and I was still a couple of videos behind my releases. And that's it. This is how this week as a solo game developer was going. I have to say that every week is different. So if you want to see another one, subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoyed this kind of video format. Thank you for watching and I see you in my next one. Bye!